Imagine having the power to increase conversions, improve your product listings, and drastically reduce returns and negative feedback. Sound too good to be true? Well, that is what Amazon A Plus content can do for you. And in this video, we're going to cover everything you need to know about it, including a step-by-step -step tutorial and how to get access to premium A Plus content for free. So let's dive in. So first, what is A Plus content? Also formerly known as Enhanced Brand Content or EBC. Well, this is a feature that allows brand owners to showcase their products through these beautiful visual banners that you can add some unique text placements and even some interactive tools. Now, it is only for brand registered sellers. So if that's not you, check out this video on how you can register your brand on Amazon, as well as this video covering all of the different benefits for being brand registered that go way beyond A plus content. But the A plus content replaces the standard text product description. So when you're brand registered, instead of seeing all of that text, you're going to see these banners. And on desktop, it's going to show up right below the main portion of the listing, that is the product images, the title, price and the bullet points if you scroll down well here you're going to see the brand story which we've already covered in another video that you can check out here or in the description below and if you scroll a little bit further you're going to see the product description or the a plus content and you can see all of these different banners with text that they've incorporated in the graphics and as i mentioned sometimes you can use some different modules like carousel or these different comparison tables. We're going to cover all that very soon in the video, but it's also important to know that on mobile, your A plus content actually shows up before your bullet points. So right after your product images is your A plus content. And that goes to show the importance of providing valuable information for potential buyers through your A plus content. Now, why should you consider investing time and potentially money creating Amazon A plus content? There are many benefits, but I'm going to highlight three of them, which I've already hinted here before. Number one is that it increases conversion rate on average by 5.5%. So by providing rich and engaging content, you can convince those potential customers that are still on the fence after looking through your product images to hit that add to cart button. Number two is that it can help increase your product listings ranking. Now, this is not officially confirmed by Amazon, but it's been proven that the keywords that you use in your A plus content actually help you rank for those keywords. So definitely being intentional about your A plus content SEO will put you in a better place. And number three is that it can help you reduce returns and negative feedback. And that is because you have this additional opportunity to answer any potential questions that your customers might have before they purchase your product. So one tip is to go through maybe your own negative reviews and your competitors' negative reviews, as well as those frequently asked questions and try to answer them through your graphics on A plus content. We're going to talk a little bit more about this very soon. And that leads me to what you should actually include in your Amazon A plus content. Your A plus content should focus on your product's unique selling features. So make sure to use high quality images as well as some details about your product, especially if you haven't been able to add those before in your regular product listing images. So maybe zooming into details of your product as well as talking a little bit more in depth about the best features of your products, as well as the benefits that it gives your customers. Also take advantage of the unique modules provided to add as much value as possible. 
Notice that I said value and not add as much information as possible because you should be careful to not overwhelm your potential customer with a lot of information. That could totally turn them off and just make them scroll right past your A plus content. Or worse, just close that tab and not purchase your product at all. So instead, Put yourself in your customer's shoes and think about some potential questions that they might have about your product. They've never seen this product before. And even though you're familiar with it, you know everything there is to know about it, your potential customer does not. So think about the sequence of questions that they might have about that product and answer those questions. Definitely answer them in your product listings image, but if there are any further questions, be sure to go through them and display them through your stunning A plus content visuals. And of course, don't forget to optimize for SEO, add in those relevant keywords. There are also things that you should not include in your A plus content. And those are any type of seller specific contact information, any type of promotional content. So do not reference your own social media platforms or your own website. Also don't refer to any competitors or third party products, no shipping related information, of course, no inappropriate content or no time sensitive information. So if you're having a sale, for example, or anything that they need to do by a certain date, that is not allowed on A plus content. Also avoid mentioning any sort of guarantees and no unauthorized use of Amazon's logo or trademarks. Now let's talk about creating the graphics for your A plus content. That can be quite a task, especially if you're not a designer, but don't worry, there are many resources and agencies available to help you out. So first, if you wanna do it yourself, if you wanna create your own graphics, there's always Canva. Canva is the best tool, in my opinion, for anything design related. It is super user friendly. So even if you're not a designer, it is very easy to use and even use their own templates. You can get some inspirations, get started with some of their templates where you just edit certain things. You can upload your own photos and use those photos within Canva. So I highly recommend you using it to create your own banners. Now you need to know the specific sizes of the images depending on the module that you're going to be using. So you're going to see soon when I show you step-by-step step all of the different types of modules and all of them are going to give you the minimum dimension. So you can use those dimensions to create your Canva templates. So in this case, I've just created a couple of examples to show you. And one thing I didn't say is that Canva is completely free. They do have their paid option, but you can definitely create beautiful visuals for free. So I'll be sure to leave the link in the description below. And one thing that you can get with Canva as well are some stock photos. So if you need to search through a certain type of photo, if you need someone that is really happy or someone, for example, washing their face, if you're selling some kind of facial products and you don't have that image, you can use stock photos. If you're using the free account, just some of the images are going to be available to use for free. Others are going to have this little crown on the corner that signify that it's only for pro account holders. But honestly, it is 100% worth it. If you're a business owner and you don't use Canva, you're definitely missing out because this can save you a lot of money. So what I've done here was create these templates for you that you can use. I'll leave that in the description below. I created two sizes, size one, that is this thinner, shorter size for the module and size two as well, that is a little bit taller. And I'll show you exactly how to use them and upload them into Seller Central. Now we use our own in-house designer to create all of our graphics, but we have also partnered with other agencies before. We've had great experiences and there are agencies that are doing amazing jobs if you don't wanna do it yourself. So a few of our recommendations are, 
one spotlighted this company is really amazing it is one of the most stunning graphics that i've seen right now their website is under construction so you're gonna see there is a few things just coming soon but trust me if you want to really stand out from your competition this is my top recommendation because the graphics that spotlighted creates is not only extremely high quality but their creativity is something that i have never seen before so definitely one of a kind they do a plus content but they also do image listings and all other types of graphics they are definitely on the more expensive side but if you use the link in the description below you also get with your purchase a 360 video of your product model as well as three additional studio render shots on plain background. So be sure to check it out. Another great agency is Shared Studio. So we've partnered with them before. They do an amazing job. You can look through their portfolio here. Also going to leave their website in the description below. And you can see all of their different options of specifically A plus content, but they offer all types of services that include visuals. Now, they are a little bit on the more expensive side as well as spotlighted. If you want something a little bit more affordable, there is Prime Label Studios and we've also used them a long time ago. They can do really great job, but in our experience, you need to be a little bit on top of it and for the back and forth for you to get exactly what you want. But you can look through their portfolio as well and see all of the different options that they have. And last but not least, there's always Fiverr. Fiverr is actually a great way to find services like these. So you could literally just type Amazon A plus content and you're going to see all of these different services, graphic designers or talented people who provide these different types of services. We've actually had a great experience using Fiverr for video creation and some other services. And I highly recommend you taking a look at this selection right here. So for any type of service that you look within Fiverr, they're going to show you the selection right here that you can scroll through. There are multiple options and usually those are the best sellers. As you can see, their prices drastically vary. You can find entire services for $30 or $400 and that depends on what you're looking for. If you want a motto, if you want more Photoshop work and so on. And no matter what you decide, make sure to communicate with the agency that you're working with exactly what you want to include. Talk more about your products, benefits and features. So they have all the information they need to give you the best graphics possible. Now, no matter what you choose, it's very important for you to look through some options that already exist online, look through their portfolios, think about what you actually want for your own A plus content. Here are some examples of very good A plus content. And I really like to visualize them in this entirety of all of the modules together. This really helps understand the path that the customer is going to take as they scroll down. So you can see here all the different types of information and graphics that they use and you can get the ideas for the modules that you're going to be using as well, how to place them. These are some of our favorite that are from Shared Studio specifically. Now, right here is one of my favorite types of strategies when it comes to A plus content. This is just something that I found online. It's not by any agency that I know, but one thing that I like is that you see this continuous sort of graphics going through all of the different modules. So that is a little bit more difficult to create when you don't have all of the designing skills or if you don't have programs like Adobe Photoshop, but it can still be done. You just have to really plan all of your modules well and think about the orders that you want to place each one when creating your A plus content. But just wanted to give you as an example, and now 
let me show you how to actually create your Amazon A plus content within Seller Central. Once you're logged into your account, go ahead and click on the main menu, click on advertising and select A plus content manager. From here, click on the start creating A plus content button. And this window might actually look a little bit different for you, you're definitely going to have the, the basic option for enhanced brand content, obviously if you are brand registered seller, and you're going to have access to the brand story as well. We've already had a video covering all about brand story, the full tutorial, all of the benefits, so make sure to watch that, I'll leave that in the description below but you may or may not have access to the premium A plus content and I'll come back to that soon. But for now, go ahead and click on create basic. So for this example, I'm using the simply glow brand. So I'm just going to name it that I'm going to leave it as us English. And now I can start adding my modules. So if you click over here, you're going to see all of the different types of modules that you can create and I'll quickly talk about each one of them. So you have your standard company logo. You don't actually need to put your logo there. You could do any sort of graphics. These are just sort of examples and placements for you to kind of understand how it works. I really like actually starting my A plus content sequence with this type of banner. It is a thinner banner, like not so tall and it is a great place to have a really attention grabbing image of your product with some of your brand as well, your logo, your brand name, something like that. So that's just the full image module. Then you have your standard comparison chart, and that is if you select that, you can add different images here. And as I mentioned previously, anything that is image related Amazon's going to tell you exactly the ratio that they want and the dimensions. So right here you see 150 wide by 300 tall. So just an extra tip, instead of using just the minimum dimensions, try duplicate it, have 300 by 600 so you can have a better quality image. You're going to keep the same ratio, two to one, you'll be able to have a better quality than not have so such pixelated images. So going back to this module, you can put up to six, I believe, images that you can compare in various different attributes. So anything that has the asterisk is required. So you put the title, then the ASIN, because they're going to be able to click to go to that listing. Then you add the metric that you want. You could either type in something. So if you want to compare all of these different products, then you can put, is it machine washable? Then you can either add text or just a check mark or no check mark. And you can also, also choose to highlight one of them. So if this is your product listing and you're comparing several different types of products that you sell, then highlight the one that is the product listing that you're using for that A plus content. I'm going to go ahead and exit out. Okay. Then click again on add module to keep describing the other options. So we have the standard for image and text. So that's just a banner where you can add four images and text below and make sure to see if the text is actually required because sometimes if you click here, for example, for the headline and the body text, you can see that you don't have the star, so it's not required. So if you want that type of module where you put four different images, you actually don't need to add the text. It's only an option as well as the headline over here, like a title before your photos. So let me exit out, then click add module again. Next we have the standard for image with text quadrant. So you have two and two, very similar to the other one. Then you have the standard image and dark text overlay. So it's just an image where you're going to have this box that you can kind of see through and you can add text. Same thing, but instead of dark text, overlay is light text, is this white box instead. Next, you have your standard image header with text. I also really like using this module 
and I usually don't use the text portion because it is a much taller graphic. So I like mixing in the shorter with the taller graphic as I use in the examples with Canva that you can access in the templates through the links below. So this is also a favorite. You can also use the standard multiple image with text. So I also like this one. It is similar to what you see in a lot of websites, product images. So you would add an image here. You would see the little thumbnail of the image, then text and description about that. And the customer will be able to just click on each one to zoom in and then read the specific text for each image. So if you want to add more information about your, your product, this is a great module as well. Now exiting out. Another option is just your standard product description text. It's just a text module that you can put and you could do it as short or as big as you want. It could be in between modules if you want as well. Then you have the standard simple image and highlights. So put your image here. Then you have these two sides of text. You have your stand single image and the sidebar. So that is a little bit different the way that the text is organized next to the image, standard single image in specs detail. So if you click here, you're going to see there's all these different types of text options that you can add for a more specification type of information. So exiting out, we're almost done. Then you have the standard single left image. So just an image with text, nothing really specific about what you need to include in the text, the same one, but on the right, then you have the standard tactical specification. So you were given this table that you can fill in, especially if your product is more technical, that could be a better way to show. Then more of the standard text, but more centered instead of the other paragraph. And last but not least, you have the three images with text below. Now, one tip that I have for you is that, although, as I mentioned before, you can use the text options to actually help you with ranking, a lot of times these texts are not very visually appealing for someone to actually read through them. So my personal opinion is that you should actually incorporate text within your graphics. So have the text being part of the image. Now you cannot rank for those words at all. Those are just like images to Amazon's algorithm, but there is another side of your A plus content where you're going to be able to incorporate your most relevant keywords and help you with ranking. And I'm going to show you next. So I'm going to go ahead and select the module that I want. Now I can click here to add my image, click again. And now I can click this button to upload the image that I want. Now, one thing that a lot of people don't do is actually naming their files with relevant keywords. This might not help you with ranking on Amazon, but it can definitely help ranking on Google. So any type of image that you're uploading online, you should definitely name it with relevant keywords and that can help you show up for those Google images. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and select my first one, my top banner. And what you can do is get your master keyword list that you've created during your keyword research and select your most relevant keywords and use it in the alt text that you can see right here. This can really help with SEO and ranking as I mentioned before. So I'm going to get this um, option right here, select just a few of them, paste. There we go. And you can use up to 100 characters. And for tags, this is just something for you to easily find this exact graphic later on if you want. So you could do like your brand name, Simply Glow, A plus content, and then click add. You're gonna see that the keywords are going to show right over here and again, utilize as much as the 100 characters as possible. This is just an example. Then you can click add and you have your first module. 
You can keep going, add all of the modules that you want. I'm gonna go ahead and add all of them and then come back. I went ahead and added a couple more of them following the exact same process. I've used a few modules where there's the opportunity for text, but I didn't use the text within the module. I added the text in the example within Canva. And again, you can always switch images and make sure to use your alt text as well. If you wanna switch the order of anything, you can just click on these arrows. And now I've switched and put that one last. And once you're done, go ahead and click next. Then go to next apply ASINs. And this is where you're going to select the ASIN or ASINs where you want this A plus content to show up. Which product listings do you want it to show up to? It could be more than one or you could create unique A plus content graphic for each one. So I'm just gonna use an example here. Then click apply content. In this case, because I already have A plus content to this example, I'll click override. And once you're done, go ahead to review and submit. Now here you can preview your content. You can see what it looks like on desktop and mobile. And if everything looks okay, you click on submit for approval, which I'm not gonna do because it's just an example. Or if there's anything that you've done or included that does not follow their standards, their best practices, you might not even be able to submit and you have to go back a few steps to actually correct it. So, if everything's okay, you can submit for approval and it might take a few hours or even a couple of days until they approve and publish your A plus content. Now, as promised, I said that I was going to talk about how to get access to the premium A plus content and for you to better understand the difference of the basic and the premium A plus content, this is what premium A plus content looks like. You have access to different modules that can do different things. It's more interactive, for example, with these features that you can hover over and, and read more about it. You can have videos, you can have these different layouts and so on. There's lots of other options of modules and not to mention it takes more of the space, the whole width of your desktop and they all touch as well. So if you have that continuous look that I personally really like, then it looks even better because there's no spacing between banners. And you can get access to premium A plus content now for free because it used to be paid simply by adding brand story to all of your branded listings. So as long as your product is part of your brand, add the brand story to those products and then you're going to be approved to create premium A plus content. And as I mentioned, once you click on that little start creating A plus content button, you have access to it and it's the same exact process, it's just different types of modules. So I hope that you found this video helpful and if you did, you're also going to love this video right here on the screen. As always, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Till then, bye.